Any anti-vaxxers in the house? <laughs> Alright, smarter than I thought. Alright. <laughs> if you identify publicly as an anti-vaxxer, oh, I think you're so brave. <laughs> People would rather identify as a pedophile these days. <laughs> Just the stigma of being an anti-vaxxer. I'd rather perform for pedophiles. <laughs> Any pedophiles in the house? <laughs> One day that's gonna work. <laughs> I mean that, I'd rather perform for pedophiles. I've got low immunity, an anti-vaxxer could fuck me up. But I'm 31. <laughs> got my first gray hair. Pedophile's not a threat, you know? <laughs> Gotta say though, some of these anti-vaxxers, pretty clever. Some of these anti-vaxxers. I saw this on Facebook Marketplace during the lockdown. Someone was selling this, a prosthetic arm, with the headline, perfect for all vaccinations. So the idea here is if you don't want to get vaxxed, you purchase this for $1,500. <laughs> Go in for your appointment, you pop your real arm under your shirt, pop this fake one over the top, and then you hope that a trained medical professional <laughs> doesn't have any questions <laughs> about why your arm is limp, cold, <laughs> Veinless, <laughs> and probably a different colour to your face. <laughs> Don't think there's a big market for this product. <laughs> Most Aussies were happy to get vaxxed. But what did we all hate doing? COVID test. Why wasn't anyone selling a prosthetic nose? <laughs> Perfect for all COVID tests. Going for the test? Yeah, mate, just shove it up there. That's fine. <laughs> Comes back negative every time. This was a real thing, though, being sold on Facebook Marketplace. So I went on TikTok, I made a joke about it, and it got shared around quite a bit. Two days later, Amanda sends me a message that says, Michael, have you seen the homepage of the Daily Mail? And I go, well, it's my number one source <laughs> for news and information. So someone at the Daily Mail saw my TikTok video and then wrote this headline. Anti-vaxxer spotted selling a prosthetic arm so Aussies can fake getting the vaccine. There's a photograph of the arm that accompanied this headline. Now you'd think, oh, I'm a reporter for the Daily Mail. I can just go to the Facebook Marketplace post Click on that guy's profile, I'll have heaps of photographs of the guy selling the arm. No. <laughs> this reporter instead went to the Instagram page of the comedian who made the joke on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so that was underneath that fucking headline. <laughs> <laughs> now this was over a year ago. So you're probably thinking, Michael, over a year ago, surely if I googled prosthetic arm anti-vaxxer today, surely you would not still be on the front page of Google search results. <laughs> <laughs> number three. By the way, I was recently informed that I am now number one. I was talking about this in my show. Someone didn't believe me. Google's it. I'm at the top fucking ranking. <laughs> Because I've been going around the country telling people this story. They Google it, they don't believe me. Just keeps bumping it up the fucking charts. <laughs> By the way, there's a bloke underneath me, an Italian man, who gave this a shot. Went in with the fake arm. You're not gonna believe this. He was caught. <laughs> and yet I'm the one above him in the Google search results. 
Now, the good thing is, when you read the article and it mentions my name, it says Michael Schaefer is just a comedian doing a joke. He's not the guy actually selling the arm. It's like, oh, thank God my name has not been tarnished. Two days later, a friend of mine, Sean, who's Chinese, sends me a message that says, Michael, are you aware that you are currently going viral in China? <laughs> And when you hear the words China and viral in the same <laughs> sentence, you really listen up. So he sends me this from the Chinese social media website, WeChat. So in China, they don't have access like Facebook and Google. Everyone gets their news and info from WeChat. A reporter at WeChat saw my TikTok video, saw the Daily Mail article, and then wrote this article for the Chinese audience. We're going to pop it through Google Translate. See if you can spot some of the factual errors they might have made. <laughs> this is how it begins. In the past two days on Australian social media, the live broadcast of Melbourne's well-known internet celebrity, <laughs> Michael Schaefer, has caused a sensation. Guys, I'm not an internet celebrity. I'm a stand-up comedian who performs to 115 people in the biggest show of his fucking life. <laughs> that requires a secondary microphone. <laughs> Goes on to say this. He sells a prosthetic. <laughs> yeah, fucking this guy. Me. <laughs> My friends are like, Michael, how did you make ends meet during the lockdown? <laughs> oh, me. I became an arms dealer. That's what I fucking did. <laughs> they did some research about me. They then wrote this. It's ironic that Schaefer, the guy selling anti-vaccine prosthetics, used to be... <laughs> anti-cancer person. <laughs> I hope that's just a translational issue. But if not, I need you to know I'm still very much anti-cancer. <laughs> Millions of people have seen this article. These are the comments underneath. Thousands of comments. The top comment though, it's got a smiley face. Like, oh, maybe someone in China is saying something nice about me. So I said to my friend, Sean, can you please translate the top comment for me? He responded with, are you sure? <laughs> because the top comment just says, it makes sense this guy got testicular cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, that smiley face hits a bit differently now, doesn't it? <laughs> but my friend Sean told me that there's millions of people in Australia who speak Chinese, they're on WeChat every day. So if anyone came along tonight, because they have to meet the man behind the prosthetic arm, <laughs> first of all, let me just say, Ni hao. <laughs> and yes, I accept international transfers. <laughs> You'll get the nose for free, so <laughs> order now.